Solutions are solutions that will replace whatever problem you might have. Whenever you have a problem, repeat over and over, all is well, everything is working out for my highest good, out of this situation only good will come, and I am safe. This simple affirmation will work miracles in your life. Every thought you think and every word you speak is an affirmation. All our self-talk is a stream of affirmations. You are using affirmations every moment, whether you know it or not. You are affirming and creating your life experiences with every word and every thought. Your beliefs are merely habitual thinking patterns that you learned as a child. Many of them work very well for you. Other beliefs may be limiting your ability to create the very things you may say you want. What you want and what you believe you deserve may be very different. You need to pay attention to your thoughts so you can begin to eliminate the ones that are creating experiences that you do not want in your life. Please realize that every complaint is an affirmation of something you think you don't want in your life. Every time you get angry, you are affirming that you want more anger in your life. Every time you feel like a victim, you are affirming that you want to continue to feel like a victim. If you feel that life does not give you what you want in your world, then it is certain you will never have the goodies that life gives to others until you change the way you think and talk. You are not a bad person for thinking the way you do. You have just never learned how to think and talk. The world is just now beginning to learn that our thoughts create our experiences. Your parents probably didn't know this, so they could not possibly teach it to you. They taught you how to look at life in the way that their parents taught them. So nobody is wrong. However, it is time for all of us, all of us to wake up and to begin to consciously create our lives in a way that pleases and supports us. You can do it. I can do it. We can all do it. You just need to learn how. So let's get to it. I will talk about affirmations in general, and then I will get to specific areas of life and show you how to make positive changes in your health or your finances or your love life, etc. Once you learn how to use affirmations, then you can apply the principles in all situations. Some people say that affirmations don't work, which is an affirmation in itself, when what they mean is they don't know how to use them correctly. They may say, my prosperity is growing, and think, oh, this is stupid, I know it won't work. Which affirmation will win out? The negative one, because it is part of a long-standing, habitual way of looking at life. Sometimes people will say their affirmations once a day and then complain the rest of the time. It will take a long time for affirmations to work if it is done this way. The complaining affirmations will always win because there are more of them and they are usually said with great feeling. Saying our affirmations is only part of the procedure. What we do for the rest of the day and night is even more important. The secrets to having your affirmations work quickly and consistently is to prepare the atmosphere for them to grow in. Affirmations are like seeds planted in soil. Poor soil, poor growth. Rich soil, abundant growth. The more you can choose to think thoughts that make you feel good, the quicker the affirmations work. Think happy thoughts. It's that simple. And it is doable. The way you choose to think right now is just that, a choice. You may not realize it, because you have thought this way for so long, but it really is a choice. Now, today, this moment, you can choose to change your thinking. 
It won't turn around overnight, but if you are consistent and daily make the choice to think thoughts that make you feel good, you will definitely make positive changes in every area of your life. I awaken each morning with blessings and gratitude for the wonderful life I lead, and I make the choice to think happy thoughts no matter what others are doing. No, I don't do it 100% of the time, but I am up to about 75-80% now, and it's made a big difference in how much I enjoy life and how much good just seems to flow into my everyday world. The only moment you ever live is this moment. This moment is the only time you have any control over. If we won't choose to feel good in this moment, then how can we create future moments that are abundant and fun? How do you feel right now? Do you feel good? Do you feel bad? What are your current emotions? What is your gut feeling? Would you like to feel better? Then reach for a better feeling thought. If you feel bad in any way, sad, grumpy, bitter, resentful, angry, fearful, guilty, depressed, jealous, critical, etc., then you have temporarily lost your connection to the flow of good experiences that the universe has waiting for you. Don't waste your thoughts on blame. No person, place, or thing has any control over your feelings because they do not think in your mind. It is also why you really have no control over others, because you cannot control their thoughts. No one can control another unless that person gives permission. So you want to be aware of this powerful mind you have. You can take total control over your own thinking. It is the only thing you will ever have total control of. What you choose to think is what you will get in life. I have decided to choose to think thoughts of joy and appreciation, and you can too. What kind of thoughts make you feel good? Thoughts of love, appreciation, gratitude, remembering joyful experiences, thinking of good things you would like to have happen in the future, rejoicing that you are alive, blessing your body with love, and enjoying this moment and looking forward to tomorrow. Thinking these kinds of thoughts is an act of loving yourself, and loving yourself creates miracles in your life. Now let's get to the affirmations. Doing affirmations is consciously choosing to think certain thoughts that will create positive results in the future. It is a focal point to begin changing your thinking Affirmative statements are going beyond the reality of the present into the creation of the future by the words you use in the now. When you choose to say, I am very prosperous, you may have very little money in the bank at the moment. What you are doing is planting seeds for future prosperity. Each time you repeat it, you are affirming the seeds you have planted in the atmosphere of your mind. That is why you want it to be a happy atmosphere. Things grow much quicker in fertile, rich soil. It is important for you to always say your affirmations in present tense. I have or I am. If you say I am going to or I will have, then it stays out there in the future. The universe takes your thoughts and words very literally and gives you what you say you want, always. This is another reason to keep a happy mental atmosphere. It is easier to think in positive affirmations when you feel good. Think of it this way. Every thought you think counts, so don't waste your precious thoughts. Every positive thought brings good into your life. Every negative thought pushes good away. It keeps it just out of your reach. How many times in your life have you almost gotten something good and it seemed to be just snatched away at the last moment? If you could remember your mental atmosphere at those times, you would have the answer. Too many negative thoughts create the barrier against positive affirmations. 
If you say, I don't want to be sick anymore, this is not an affirmation for good health. You have to state clearly what you do want. I accept perfect health now. I hate this car does not bring you a wonderful new car because you are not clear. And even if you do get a new car, in a short time you will probably hate it because this is what you've been affirming. If you want a new car, then say something like this. I have a beautiful new car that suits all my needs. Some people say life sucks, which is a terrible affirmation. Can you imagine what experiences that will bring you? But it isn't life that sucks. It's your thinking that sucks. That thought will help you to feel terrible. And when you feel terrible, no good can come into your life. Don't waste time arguing for your limitations, poor relationships, problems, illnesses, poverty, etc. The more you talk about the problem, the more you anchor it in place. Don't blame others for your problems. It's just another waste of time. We are all under the law of our own consciousness, our own thoughts, and only we attract specific experiences to us by the way we think. When you change your thinking process, then everything in your life will also change. You will be amazed and delighted to see how people, places, things, and circumstances can change. Blame is just another negative affirmation, and you do not want to waste your precious thoughts on it. Instead, learn to turn your negative affirmations around into positive ones. For instance, I hate my body becomes, I love and appreciate my body. I never have enough money, or money flows into my life in an abundant way. I'm tired of being sick, or I allow my body to return to its natural vibrant health. I'm too fat, or I honor my body and take good care of it. Nobody loves me. I radiate love, and love fills my life. I'm not creative. To I'm discovering talents I did not know I had. I'm stuck in a lousy job, can become wonderful new doors are opening for me all the time. I'm not good enough. Or I'm in the process of positive changes, and I deserve the best. This does not mean for you to be frightened of every thought you think. Because when you first begin to make the changeover and really pay attention to your thoughts, you will be horrified to realize how negative much of your thinking has been. So when you catch a negative thought, just think to yourself, this is an old thought, I no longer choose to think that way. Then find a positive thought to substitute for it as quickly as you can. Remember, you want to feel good as much as possible. Thoughts of bitterness, resentment, blame, and guilt make you feel miserable. And that is a habit you really want to release. Another barrier to having positive affirmations work is feeling not good enough, that you don't deserve to have good in your life. If that is your issue, then you could begin with the section on self-esteem. You could see how many of the self-esteem affirmations you can memorize and then repeat them often. It will help change that worthless feeling atmosphere you might be carrying around to one of self-esteem and self-worth. Then watch your positive affirmations materialize. Affirmations are solutions that will replace whatever problem you might have. Whenever you have a problem, repeat over and over, all is well, Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come, and I am safe. This simple affirmation will work miracles in your life. 